Hey, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here. Thank you so much for joining me. I've had a lot of questions regarding bar chords and how to make those a little bit uh, easier. So I thought I'd give you a few tips and see if maybe this helps you a little bit. Now, first, before we even started, what I want you to understand is that the guitar that you're playing, the strings that you have on the guitar, all of those sorts of things can make a difference in the comfortability of making things like bar chords, you know, scales, all sorts of different things. But what, what I'm talking about, for instance, is if you have, for instance, when I first started playing back uh, when I was a little kid, I had an acoustic guitar and the strings on that guitar must have been, they looked like they were about this far away. Now they probably weren't, but they were really far away and it made it really hard to play. And uh, they had it had really, really, really heavy strings on it and that sort of thing. So the first thing I want you to understand is that it's not that you have to go out and spend a bunch of money on a guitar, but you do need to make sure that the guitar that you're playing is comfortable and it's set up properly and it's got the right thickness of guitar strings for you and your your position in playing. I mean, if you've just started learning how to play, you know, you don't need really, really thick strings on there that make the whole process really, really difficult. You need to find a happy medium so the guitar is comfortable for you to play, the, the strings that are on the guitar are comfortable, the, the, the strings are set up properly with the neck. Um, you know, just, and again, I'm not asking or telling you to go spend a bunch of money, but just understanding that if you were to play one of my guitars, the first thing you'd probably say is, wow, that's really easy to play, because it is. Um, and it's that way on purpose, whether it's a more one of my more expensive guitars or one of my lesser expensive guitars, they're all set up so they're fairly easy to play, okay? So with that in mind, let's move on to the actual application of playing bar chords and see if I can help you a little bit. So the first thing to understand is that when we learn how to play open chords, like let's say we're talking about D. Or, you know, G minor or something like that. Oftentimes what we'll do is we'll find ourselves approaching the guitar from this angle, like this, with my hand sort of facing this direction like I was going to make a D chord. Okay, well if you think about a bar chord, a bar chord needs to press on all the strings in one fret. So if I'm approaching the guitar from this perspective, you can see I'm going to have a problem because my first finger isn't really situated to press on one fret alone, right? It's kind of sitting at an angle, kind of covering two frets. So what I need to do is I need to take my hand and turn it underneath, you see that? To give me the availability of being able to press down. So what you're gonna notice is my elbow is coming inward, which then turns my hand up. And I think about that like if I was playing a D chord, I'd probably be in this position. But if I was going to play a C chord, I would turn in a little bit, because this finger's got to get higher up on the guitar. If I was sitting in this position trying to make a C chord, it'd be very, very difficult. But if I turn in, notice how this finger comes up higher and that becomes easier to play. Well, that's the same idea with the bar chord is that I need to turn in a little bit. Now, in order to do that, maybe my guitar neck needs to be out a little bit or, you know, whatever it is I need to do. You know, not everybody can get their elbow in here, you know, where I've got it. It, it might not fit very well. And everybody's different. I'm just giving you some things to think about a little bit. So as I turn that elbow in, you'll notice that it's turning my hand this direction, which is going to give this finger a fighting chance to press down. Now, the second thing I want you to think about is when I'm playing, I'm now this is me. You might somebody else might be doing something a little different. OK, and please comment if you've got any suggestions or, or help that, uh, you know, you could offer somebody that's watching this. I'd sure appreciate that. So for me, when I'm playing, I don't play straight on with my finger because the front of my finger actually isn't very straight, okay, where my, my knuckles are and all that sort of thing. And plus, if I was to play straight on, again, it pushes my elbow out this direction, okay? So what I do is I kind of play with the side, not completely, but somewhere over here, kind of on the side of the finger. That way, if my finger was even turned a little bit like this, I can still press down on all the strings at the same time, okay? So it's easier for me to kind of approach it again because my elbow is in a little bit, which straightens out my hand, and as a result of it being in a little bit too, I tend to play more on the side of my finger right here to make it a little bit easier to press down, okay? Then I can add my other fingers on and get my bar chord. Okay, now remember, the bar chord really 
when you're making, for instance, this is what we call a six string major bar chord. So when I'm doing this, this finger and this finger and this finger are pressing on the third, fourth, and fifth strings. So the bar doesn't really need to be that engaged behind those strings, although it is a good idea to try and get used to pressing on all six, um, just in case you'd make a different chord. You know, maybe it's not major, maybe it's something else. But in the first stages of learning how to do this, it can feel very awkward. Use that to your advantage to begin with. So you've got your finger kind of curled a little bit. You got your elbow in, okay? And you've got these fingers. Now, you might have a hard time seeing this, but I'm actually able to kind of come at an, I'm, I'm able to put my fingers at an angle like this a little bit, okay? Again, it's not straight on like this. It's kind of turned a little bit. So you can see I've got some room here underneath here for those those strings that I'm not pressing on with these three fingers with just the bar. Where again, if I was like this, it'd be really hard to make those. They wouldn't be able to reach where they need to go. And as I move up, then of course this finger starts curling. So I need to make sure that I'm turned inward, okay? And playing at just a bit of an angle with my first finger and then I can add those other fingers on. Okay, so I'm very aware that my guitar is sitting at a bit of an angle. I'm not playing like this or straight on. I've got my guitar up a little bit, which makes it easier for me to play. Sometimes I'll even prop this leg up, you know, on a footstool or whatever it is you might have um, to make it a little bit easier as well. And then the other big thing is, is that the guitar neck is out a little bit. I'm not playing straight across my guitar. So this arm is out here and this arm is back here. Like I'm going to run somewhere. Okay, I've got it kind of propped inside here so both my hands can sit comfortably and that gives me quite a bit of room here to be able to make the chord as I'm playing it. So think about from the very beginning, do you have the right guitar? Does your guitar have the proper strings on it? Um, is the guitar set up properly? And if you can't answer those things, you'd want to find you know, a music store, a guitar store, or something that you can go to that might be able to help you with that. And uh, once you've kind of got that figured out, then it's time to work on your um, technique of trying to play this and use some of the ideas that I'm giving you here from the angle of the guitar to the, the space in between to the moving the, the elbow in a bit to give you a little more space. And then the other thing I think is just be patient. You know, some of these things take time. People don't believe me, but when I first started learning how to play bar chords, they took me longer than they've ever taken any of my other students to learn how to play. Now, I didn't have a guitar teacher and I was trying to learn all this stuff on my own and you know, I'm just trying to figure everything out, but they took me months. Get bar chords, as a matter of fact, were almost the demise of my guitar playing. I almost quit playing because I couldn't get them to work. And then all of a sudden, one day, they just they just worked. And um, but it took me a while. So if you just think a little bit more about the way you're sitting, the quality of the guitar, the setup of the guitar, the strings, and then your approach, those things might be able to, they might make a big difference for you. So take care, uh, stay positive, do me a big favor. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do me a big favor and do so. And uh, if you'd like to learn more about my um, guitar courses and stuff, head over to guitarzoom.com and have a look.